Cool. In this video, I want to think about some more uh, vocabulary around graphs. And I also want to think about um, the different kinds of graphs we have, um, you know, whether they're directed or not, whether a graph is a tree, uh, whether a tree is a binary tree. And so I have this picture on the left that we're going to use uh, to have a bunch of examples. And, and so the first word that I want to remember is connected. And so looking at this graph over here on the left, um, is this a connected graph? And the answer is no, it is not a corrected, uh, it is not a connected graph. And, um, and the reason why is there is not, well, connected means that there is a path between any two nodes. And that's clearly not true. We have kind of the main graph and then there's an island over here on, on the right. Um, what was a path? A path was a sequence of, um, of edges uh, not reused. So, um, for example, um, if I'm looking at this here, uh, I could have a path from D to H, and that path might be D, B, A, C, H as a path. But at least the way I'm defining path in this course, um, I couldn't say D, B, D, B, D, B, A, C, H, because I'd be kind of reusing that. So, so connected and path, those are two um, key terms that we'll have. Um, the next idea that I want to talk about is a, is a DAG. And a DAG, the easy way to remember it is, well, it's a directed acyclic graph, right? So if you're trying to look at a graph and figure out if it's a DAG, um, you should go one letter at a time. And of course, the easiest letter here is graph, right? If I'm looking at this picture over here, uh, it's obviously a graph, right? So I have the G down. Um, what about directed? Is it a directed graph? No, I, I have to inspect these edges and the edges aren't arrows, right? So there's kind of, uh, it's a very symmetric relationship. And so if I wanted to draw this as a directed graph, um, I, I could do this. And, and now I actually have a directed graph. Um, so the next question is, well, uh, is it acyclic? And uh, so let me put that down. Well, first off, what is directed, right? So edges uh, are arrows, they have a direction. What about acyclic? Is this an acyclic graph? And the thing that probably catches your eye is this little pattern here. Um, you know, kind of all of these edges form some sort of, uh, some sort of, um, it looks like a cycle, but it's actually not. And, and the reason why is that uh, we care about the direction um, of these edges, right? So acyclic means that, uh, that you can't, uh, you know, no path ending, you know, starting, and ending on the same node, right? And so this is acyclic, right? I mean, I can't, I can't go A, B, G, I can't go back to C, right? So, so it's acyclic, right? I can't cycle back to A. So um, this is uh, this is actually an acyclic graph, right? Because there's no cycles here, right? I can't cycle back back to where I started. Another notion is weakly connected. Um, is this a weakly connected graph? So weakly connected means that there would be a path. Uh, there is a, a path between any two nodes ignoring direction. And that's not the case here, right? I mean, I still have my little um, island. Uh, even if I ignore the direction of the edges, you know, I can't get from X to A. Um, some more vocabulary that we're going to talk about. We have uh, are going to talk about roots and uh, and uh, leaves, uh, a leaf, I guess. And uh, these are going to be relevant, especially when we start talking about trees, right? So a tree is going to be the next thing we talk about after after we define these two things. Uh, but this notion of a root and a leaf um, is also applicable um, in directed graphs like this. And so a root is basically uh, any node with no parents. And, and, and so maybe, uh, maybe I should add these words as well. What is a parent? What is a parent? What is a child? And, uh, and a parent is um, the node from which an edge leaves. And uh, a child is a node from which an edge arrives. Right, so that's parent and child. And so a root is a node with no parents. And so that means that 
uh, that that really I don't have any incoming um, uh, edges, right? Uh, so it's basically the child of no one, right? So I don't have any uh, edges arriving in here. So looking over at this picture on the left, um, how many roots do I have in this graph? Um, I see two. I see two roots. I see A and I see X. Those two don't have any any parents. Um, what about a leaf? So a leaf is any node with no children. And I see a bunch of those over here, right? All of these on the bottom don't have any children. Uh, y doesn't have any children. Um, and, and so so I can almost imagine like the root kind of almost being like the top of the graph, no parents, maybe leaves at the bottom with no children. I mean, I could have drawn that differently, but these are definitions that are going to hold even if I kind of uh, flipped the whole graph upside down. Uh, and then of course we have, um, uh, we have cases where we have um, some nodes that are neither uh, parents or children. And then, then finally, you can imagine I could add a node here that's just all by itself. And then in that case, it would be both a root and a leaf. Okay, so, so what is a tree? Um, a tree is a DAG uh, with two extra properties. And what are those properties? Um, so I'm gonna have one and two. And one is that it has exactly one root, okay? And, and so right away, I mean, I can see that this is not a tree, right? I mean, we already talked about how this one has two roots, A and X. Um, the other property is that uh, every node except the root has exactly one parent. Okay, those are the two properties. So I wonder, I wonder if I could fix this up. Um, you know, one way I could do it is I could say something like g.edge from A to X. Um, if I did that, I would have uh, exactly one root. Or, or I guess I could just kind of get rid of these two. Um, and, and that would kind of satisfy this first thing and have exactly one root. So, so I guess I want you to take a moment and look at this and, and kind of decide for yourself, uh, is this a tree according to my definition? And, uh, and the answer is no. And the reason why is that I have to say that every node except the root has exactly one parent. And look, uh, G has two parents. Um, you know, one parent is B and the other is C. So this is not a tree. And, and so I could fix this up, right? I guess I could, um, where is G? You know, I could just uh, kind of delete G altogether, um, or I could kind of get rid of one of the parents. I, I guess I'll get rid of this, uh, the parent B, right? Because uh, that one already has a few children. So, so I get down to this picture, and then finally, yes, this is a tree. So this is an example uh, of a tree right here. Okay. So you can kind of see we're narrowing down. I mean, we talked about graphs uh, kind of first, and then we're like, well, some graphs are directed, and then some directed graphs are directed acyclic graphs, and uh, then some directed acyclic graphs are trees. And, um, and, and I'm gonna introduce one more here that we're gonna talk about today, and that's the binary tree. Uh, and, and that's a tree, which means that everything I've said about trees in general applies, everything I've said about DAGs applies, but there's one more rule. And that rule is that each, um, each node has at most two children. So, that's what a binary tree is. So binary means two, and that's why where the name comes from, having these two children and most. So if I look at this picture over here, uh, is this is this a binary tree? And well, it's not. See if you can figure out why it's not. What what node is kind of getting us in trouble? Um, the trouble is with B, right? B has three children. It's allowed to have at most two children. And so there's different ways I could fix that up, right? I guess I could, um, you know, I could get rid of the F node, for example. So this would be an example of a binary tree. Let me go back. Um, another thing I can do is, if I'm willing to move nodes around a little bit, I can actually turn any tree into a binary tree. So um, I can keep F, but I just have to put it some other place. And so really what I could do is I could look at any leaf I have, for example, you know, D or E or 
G or H. I mean, those all, all don't have any children. And so I could move it down there, right? So instead of saying from B to F, uh, uh, maybe I'll just say like from E, E to F. Um, and that would be fine. That would be an example of, of a binary tree, right? Um, now, this kind of feels tree-like. I mean, sometimes we can have these very perverse cases, right? Um, I'm going to leave this one up because it's kind of a nice looking tree. Um, let me give you an example of what else is a binary tree, uh, kind of a, a degenerate binary tree. Um, if I wanted to, I could have um, D come out of F, right? I could do that. And, um, and kind of these other nodes, I guess I could have uh, C, where is C coming from? C is coming from A, I could have C coming off of D, right? And so I could have that. And, and I guess really I could if I wanted to, um, I could, where, where is G coming from? Uh, G is coming from C. I could really have G coming off of H, right? So I have this whole thing now. And, um, and, and this really starts to look like a linked list. And uh, guess what? This is still a binary tree because I never say that most nodes have to have ch two children. Uh, I just say that that's the maximum they can have. So this is technically a binary tree, uh, maybe kind of a degenerate one, right? It's not really using its full uh, flexibility. Okay, so I want you to think a little bit about where we might see um, trees, whether they're binary or not, in, in real life. And maybe just try to think of one example in your mind before continuing. Um, one example that people often uh, bring up is the family tree. Uh, is, is that a tree? Well, it, it kind of depends. I mean, maybe if, uh, if we were kind of living in a, a patriarchal society where we only cared about kind of the paternal lineage, well then, yeah, maybe you'd start with some great, great grandfather and then kind of branch off to all the children. But, but really, I think that's not the tree that most of us would really care to look at if we're trying to um, understand a family history. Uh, really what we should have instead of having a book with a family tree is we should have a family DAG, right? Uh, kind of every every node, every person has uh, has two biological parents, right? And uh, and it's directed, right? I mean, there's kind of these generations going down, uh, but it can kind of cross back and forth, right? I mean, a person could have many, uh, many um, children, and then everybody has at least, well, has exactly two biological parents. So, so really, forget about family trees. Uh, we have family DAGs. What would be an actual example of a tree that we might kind of see in the real world? Um, well, anything where we have kind of a strong hierarchy. Um, you know, in a lot of corporations, right, there's a CEO at top, and then maybe some vice presidents, and then maybe some directors, and then managers, and then down finally to like, you know, regular employees. Kind of a very strict hierarchy there. Um, in the world of biology, if you're ever thinking about evolution, uh, you might kind of look at a tree of species, right? So that might show up there. Um, so lots of different cases you might actually see trees, right? Any kind of case there, where there's a hierarchy. And uh, so what we're going to be doing soon is we're going to look at cases where we can take data um, that doesn't really necessarily have a hierarchy to it, but we're going to impose our own hierarchy on it. And that's going to let us kind of store a lot of different kinds of data in trees. And the advantage is that if we put some hierarchy in the data, we can do certain operations faster, right? Like if I'm looking for a certain piece of data, I can find it quickly. And so that's what's going to be coming up. We're going to be talking about binary search trees. How can I impose a tree hierarchy on a bunch of data um, so I can quickly search for something I'm, I'm interested in? So I'll, so I'll break it off there.